match with an autonomous period. Like every game, the first 15 seconds is pre-programmed. The students and the robots gain extra points during this time. Cargo worth an additional one point, and you can get even bonus more, like the Red Alliance and the Blue, for getting balanced on their charge station. As we move on to the tally-off period for qualification match 12, the students have picked up the controllers are in charge of the robot 1018, making quick use of moving the cargo across the field, placing one into the lower part of their grid. 7477, moving all the cones towards their part of their field. You can move one game piece at a time, and you are penalized for interacting with more. Team 5010 Tiger Dynasty currently placing a cone up into the high part of their grid. That's worth five points for their alliance since we're in the teleop period. The Red Alliance responding to that call with two cones in the high grid as well in perfect succession. Team 6047 making a leap over their charge station. Sometimes it takes too much time to go around. About a minute and a half remaining in this match. The ties score is pretty close. Lots of robot-on-robot -robot action towards the center of their field. That is allowed as long as they keep contact minimal, and there's lots of open space in the center for them to do that. 6956 proudly displaying its cone, taking it back to its grid. They're going to place that probably as high as they can to score points for their teams. 5010, 18, I should say, making quick use of the lower pieces of their grid, storing lots of cargo. Remember, the name of the game is scoring these pieces and also generating links for your team, where a link is a horizontal grouping of three game pieces. Currently, the Blue Alliance has two of those, while the Red has one. If they can get to four, that's an additional ranking point. That threshold has been lowered since they have placed pieces in the cooperation zone of their grid. <laughs> team 1018 making use of their loading zone and their human player pieces. That train whistle was the end game notification. We have about 20 seconds left in our match. Teams are now trying to make sure that they can get to their charge station and level. The Blue Alliance look like they might go for three robots up on one. We'll have to see what they do with the time remaining. Red Alliance has their two robots balanced and looking precise. Same with the Blue Alliance. They're sitting pretty until the end of the match, which ends just about now. That was the end of qualification match 12. Let's see how these scores total up. Your scores are ready. Here they are for qualification match 12. The winner of this match was the Blue Alliance. Getting the full four ranking points, two for winning, one for autonomous and one for getting all the links on the grid. Grid points are very important in this year's game.